digital culture? What the heck does it mean? There's a good chance you're watching this video at home, where you now currently work five days a week. More than six months after the global coronavirus pandemic began, most work environments are far from normalized, if that word still means anything. Such a scenario would have been unimaginable just a few months ago. And yet, in a relatively short time, businesses have learned how to conduct meetings, streamline approval processes, uh, learn new collaboration tools, and deliver presentations virtually. In short, the crisis has forced companies to digitally transform whether they were ready to or not. As Scott Galloway, professor of marketing at the New York University, said recently on his show, The Prof G Podcast, quote, things won't change as much as they will accelerate. While other crises reshape the future, COVID-19 is just making the future happen faster. That means business leaders are now considering how their companies can adapt to develop more of a digital culture. So what makes a digital company culture aspirational in the first place. The digital culture phrase conjures up images of open seating offices featuring neo-industrial design, bicycles leaning against the wall, game rooms, huddle spaces, in-house baristas, and the logos of Facebook, Uber, or Spotify on the walls. Admit it, when you hear the words digital company culture, that's where our brains go. We think of the trappings, the visible, the tangible things. The truth is, Authentic digital culture is not achieved by hiring an interior decorator. The benefits are far less tangible. First, digital companies tend to be more customer-centric. They tend to understand customers better than customers understand themselves. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos talks about customer focus as an obsession. It's what allowed them to develop breakthrough features and grow the company on an unrivaled scale. No customer asked Amazon for Amazon Prime. No one asked Amazon for the voice-enabled Alexa. And yet, look at how well those products have been embraced by customers. Digital companies also tend to attract top talent, the industry's most intelligent, creative people. When you ask young people who they would like to work for, Google is always somewhere at the top of that list. And finally, there's innovation. Digital companies are developing the products and services that are reshaping the modern world. Remember when Netflix was a company that rented out DVDs by email? Today, they are one of the biggest entertainment brands in the world. They went to market with a video streaming service long before incumbent industry players, HBO, Viacom, or even Disney, knew what the hell was going on. In this video series, I talk about three of the most important steps to put your company on a path towards achieving a digital company culture. Watch the rest of the video series or read my article on digital culture in the link below. Did you know that inspirational talks and webinars are a good way to attract and gather prospective clients? Talk to me about how I can help your sales and marketing team.